Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a review, another fun review, on the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick. This one is the Mars color. Is it called Mars? I don't know, but it's the color that probably will look good on everybody. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw how this looks on me. It actually looks pretty good. And I just thought I'd make a little quick video just to show you, you know, what it looks like. So what I love about this product is that it looks very wet on the skin and it has a very silky consistency to it. And it goes on on top of powder pretty well. So you could actually just tap it on top of your foundation and it won't really disturb the foundation, but it gives you that wet type of look, which is in right now, you know, for highlighting. As opposed to nothing on this side. But what I like about this shade is that it makes your skin a little bit lighter wherever you put it. If you have a light amount of concealer, it won't bother your concealer either. Lately I've been liking to put highlighter on top of the brows. I just feel like it helps them to accentuate it. It helps to accentuate them a little bit more. And then I like to put it on the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose very lightly though. Cupid's bow and the chin. This has a, it has a very manufactured smell. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but uh, it does smell a little bit fresh. And I love the way it goes on. So you can see I already have it on my face. It lasts pretty well because it's one of those hybrid highlighters. So it has the cream built into it as well as the powder. You know, once it dries, it dries a little bit more powdery. Overall, I really like this um, highlighter. I feel like it's a really good one if you don't like the chunky glitter, if you're worried about it, you know, photographing weird, because a lot of the times things that do have glitter and then more powder glitter, they tend to photograph a little bit bizarre. This one photographs pretty well because it is like a regular shine and it is more true to the shine that you see on magazines and um, flash photos, you know. Uh, back in the day, I know they used to use like lip balm on the cheeks to give you that dewy effect. I think this is the closest thing without actually clogging your pores, so it's, it's a good alternative. It's almost like the Radiance Primer for Laura Mercier if it was like solidified in the freezer and in the stick form with more pigment. Alright, so that was it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions or if you want me to do any videos on any other specific stuff. Um, please leave a comment below or a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.